Welcome to the Harnessing Happiness podcast. This is the Happy Clappy Soundbite. Hello and welcome to your Happy Clappy Soundbite with me, Sarah J. Naylor. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in and uh, welcome to this Happy Clappy Soundbite about pets. (laughs) So what has inspired me today to record about pets? Well, I'll tell you exactly what. I have a furry cat sat on my lap as I am recording this. In fact, as I came to sit down to record this episode, and I had another episode in mind <laughs> to record, my uh, cat, one of my cats, a uh, mooty cat, decided to uh, jump on my lap. So I thought, Do you know what? Let's talk pets. Let's talk the power of positivity and happiness that having pets in our lives brings because they do don't they whether you are I don't know I mean are you a pet owner I know an awful lot of people that do have pets who have cats who have dogs who have guinea pigs who have rabbits who yeah who sp- love spending their time with their uh, with their pets uh, and it really is it's it's lovely I mean sometimes you know you just think really did you have to bring a mouse in really is that a bird no and you know there is the downside of that and I really don't like don't like the decimation that uh, cats can obviously bring on wildlife in the garden however the pleasure that they can bring as well and again as we're talking my cat is now clambering on my keyboard uh Mooty, I really don't think that is the place uh, to be because if we suddenly get cut off it will be your fault won't it mm-hmm. so Back to pets, and yes, they do bring pleasure. And this one that I have with me right now really doesn't like being picked up. She likes to sit on her lap, don't you, Moots? But she doesn't like being picked up. She doesn't mind being stroked. She'll nuzzle nuzzle your arm. (laughs) But if you pick her up and stroke her, she usually runs off and goes outside because she has to go and get her fur straight. Uh, But that's one of them. Um, And the other one is very vocal. So if, as I am recording, we suddenly hear a lot of wow, that will be the other one. That's Charlie. (laughs) Anyway, back to pets in general. Uh, I was listening just recently to another podcast, actually, and they touched upon the value of having dogs in your lives. I mean, I I love dogs. Um, I've never actually had a dog as a pet myself, Uh, although uh, my partner, Gareth, has uh, got a well, his folks have got a dog and we go off running with Dexter the Dog Destroyer and you know, he's great company. And the, the thing with dogs, as I've noticed with all dog owner friends that I have, is that communication that you get when you're going out, when you're walking the dog and you're having fun. I don't know, you know it yourself, but you stop and you say hello and you, you invariably. The dog owner isn't the first person you speak to it's the dog you go oh hello hello and uh, you you know you engage with the dog and then then you a conversation can build with the person obviously having that pet at home as well is is great you've got company you've got someone to talk to rather than just the wall the door the floor <laughs> or yourself I do find myself talking to myself from time to time. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's company, isn't it? It's that company that you you get from having an animal in your life. And there's a lot to be said for that. There's a, I think there's a lot of research. I mean, I haven't personally done it. I'm just talking really my own sort of observations, off the cuff observations um, and nods to the power of having a pet in your life. Because that company, that unconditional love, that that you get particularly I think it has to be said uh, from a dog cats are great but let's face it we are we are the staff where it comes to cats (laughs) we really are well mind mind me out at the cat flap waiting for us to let them out (laughs) it's just like really okay concierge service (laughs) we get we've become very well trained it has to be said it does have to be said with dogs I understand there's it's there's that loyalty um, with having a dog as a pet uh, there really is there's the the loyalty the unconditional love the the companionship that it gives 
that having a dog gives to so many people um, whether you go out and have long walks or go running and do canny crosses or just go on adventures or just say just literally have time in the house with your with your pet dog but of course it's not just dogs and cats although they are the sort of the traditional pet that we have in our lives there are all nature of pets and I alluded to some of them earlier on like rabbits and guinea pigs uh, some people like mice some people like scaly creatures it's but it's that again I guess it comes down to the companionship you know there may be other reasons people have other pets in their lives but we all like it well, let's face it we go onto social media if somebody's put generally a picture of their dog doing something cute or their rabbit or their their hamster or their guinea pig I have to have a side note here I do love a guinea pig I, <laughs> I used to have guinea pigs growing up and um, I've got a couple of friends with guinea pigs well and rabbits as well and they're just they're just lovely and I think is it something to do with them just being sort of furry furry creatures and we all do we all love furry creatures I know I do am I rambling oh yes I am but I'm just hoping my rambles are making you smile and I hope that pets make you smile and I hope whatever pets you've got in your life make you smile but the podcast I was listening to was one um with Mary Portas and really I ought to uh, ought to be able to give a nod to the person that she was speaking to um, I will try and recall as uh, as time progresses uh, but he made a note to say that if every school had a dog as a pet within the school how much it would educate children in terms of behavior and how you look after animals and I think it's, that's very very important because that learnt behavior in terms of how you look after a pet is how we want to look after each other as well there's I mean that's a whole complex issue I mean there's so much around animal welfare uh, in its entirety but there is so much that can absolutely be learnt by educating children from a young age um, with pets I seem to recall when I was at school we used to have um we had we think we had a pet was a pet guinea pig or a pet rabbit that used to you know every school holiday somebody would have the turn to take it home anyway but I think what the point was is that it can help with very much so with mental health well-being and so and so much more ah here we go this is what you want and uh, it's a developing healthy food relationships with Mark Cudigan CEO of Ella's Kitchen so that is the podcast with Mary Portas that I was listening to in relation to um, his, his nod to having a dog in schools, amongst other things and amongst Mary talking about the volume of clothes being bought and the increase now in pre-loved clothing and just buying things that are going to last for longer and we don't need the stuff that we've been sold. But that's a complete completely different topic for another day so I have rambled <laughs> as is the norm with myself as I like to refer to it my Ronnie Corbett moment for any of those who are aware of Ronnie Corbett however back to pets do you have them do you love them have you always had them how do they make you feel if you've not had a pet who do you know that does have a pet find out enjoy and understand how much companionship and love and entertainment that they can bring into your lives. Going back to my own cats, uh, I have to laugh in the mornings during the winter when one of my cats is just sat on the window ledge and one paw rested on the radiator, enjoying the warmth that transfers up through that one paw <laughs> into my body. She's regulating the heat. It is very funny. It does make me laugh. And some of the things they do, you know, to play the laser pen with them and them charging them down the house and just doing crazy things not so sure about the claws in the in the furniture when they've got a scratching pole but hey you know anyway i hope you've enjoyed listening to my rambles about pets i do hope you have pets in your life i do hope they bring you so much happiness if you don't have pets i hope you go out and get a pet but remember a pet is for life and you do need to look after them and they do need care and they do want to be loved. Anyway, this has been me, Sarah J Naylor, at Harnessing Happiness. Please do subscribe or follow, rate and review because I really want to spread happiness 
globally and um, by doing that you can help me on my mission thank you so much take care and lots of love from me that was the happy clappy soundbite hear full-length episodes of the harnessing happiness podcast released every tuesday and for more exclusive content from sarah just visit sarahjnaylor.com